Welcome Walnut. I'm Lara, but you can call me Laz, your host for Walnut Wednesday. This is your reminder to be brave, be yourself, and know that you can make the world a better place just by what you decide today. Here, I'm going to share my weekly walnuttings with you on a Wednesday. Hello, Walnut. It is me, Laz, here for another episode of Walnut Wednesday. How are you? Because I'm really good. So I would love to know if you're really good too. If you're not really good, tell me why. What's up? Let's chat. Um, I think it's really important to to share all the things and I want to hear from you. So um, let me know how you're doing this week. I have the shortest ever possible window of time. I don't know if um, the microphone will pick it up in the background, but um, the boys have just popped out and the UFC is on. So I, I took this opportunity while they quickly went out to grab something um, to record this episode so we don't hear, oh, <laughs> every like 20 seconds. So, hello, short window. Um, Walnut today, I just wanted to brag about about Walnut Wednesday, the book, and how much fun um, this launch has been, how much fun I'm having. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the process and how um, – kind of like the how how to do it. I've had a question, how do you get started if you want to write a book? So I thought I'd just talk about my experience with it um, and let my walnutting be um, telling you telling you what I did and my kind of thought process. If you have any further questions, Walnut, just let me know. Um, jump into the Walnut Tree on Facebook or, you know, share this episode, flick me a message, tag me at Walnut Wednesday, all the things I'm available I'm available to chat at all times. So if you have any more questions, I have no issues with full transparency about um, about this process because it's been such a learning and it's been so much fun. Um, but basically, where to bloody start? Um, I think starting from when I was really young, I always wanted to feel like I could write. I, I would write a book and it's that thing like right if it if it were easy everyone would do it and so my process was I had I had an idea um or in 2020 uh I got a year ahead reading by Amy as you know I've talked about this multiple times I love Amy's year ahead readings and her Akashic readings so um if you know her go check her out she is Amy Melissa on Facebook or at the North Star Love and her podcast is the Third Eye Awakening and she does the best readings ever but anyway I got a year ahead reading from from Amy and this was when she would pull one tarot card per month of the year um, I think they're a little, a little bit different one, a different now than last one I got. I think it was one card for each quarter. But anyway, so 2020, I had this feeling that it was like, I'm doing air bunny quotes, was going to be my year, right? I knew big things were changing um, and coming for Walnut Wednesday and things like that. That was the year that I left my travel job. Um, I took my first money for Walnut Wednesday um I came out of like the woo-woo closet for doing healings and stuff so like heaps of really cool stuff happened and I had that feeling right at the very beginning and so after this reading I got this idea like oh my god how cool would it be sort of to document how each card um comes through in my everyday life so I started kind of just like writing about the the theme of of that particular card every month some months were a bit slacker than others you know some months I just had like a bullet points um other months I had you know a full a full saga of thoughts and feelings <laughs> um and so I was going on that and so I was I just said to a couple of people a couple of close friends like oh yeah I'm gonna write a book I'm gonna write a book but I never really like was like I'm gonna write a book um and my friend Rachel White she's published multiple um books now so I'd always said to her like I'm gonna I'm gonna hire you, you for your help one day um for when I want to publish this book and so there a couple of containers went by um they did some classes and some coaching and stuff like that where um I kind of just like slipped it in like oh yeah I might write a book right and then it got to sort of the end of the year and I was like okay I'm not Bitch, I'm not writing this, like I, I'm writing, I was writing, but the the idea, not the idea, the, um, the feeling of, oh, I'm going to be an author was very far removed from me, 
if that makes any kind of sense. It was kind of just like writing stuff down, but not with the intent of of being a thing. And then at the end of the year, I was doing, um, I think, Blaze with Carrie Russell. And I said, I want to publish my book or something. It was like a goal, right? Um, this is the end of 2020. And I thought, oh, okay. And so I keep going. I, I, this is the I think the key here, Walnut, and the how to, I'm doing air quotes again, is to keep going um, because ma not making yourself right, but taking the time to write things down and not, oh, I'll do it later, but um, just do it. Um, just get the words down because it is much easier to edit and chop and change than it is to, especially when you're feeling like a butthole or you're, you had a long day or whatever, um, to start from scratch, right? And Kate and I actually talk about this all the time. It is so much easier for us to let me know, Warner, if you are the same. But for me, a blank piece of paper intimidates me more than a piece of paper with a couple of things on it that you can kind of go go from to so creating that um that motivation is really difficult so for me um just having those snippets even if there were those months where I felt a bit plonkerish and just did a couple bullet points that was actually helpful so keep going with the thing walnut even if it's like a little couple minutes um is what is tip number one of how to do it <laughs> how to get started and then it got to sort of mid this year, mid 2021, and I was like, what the hell? Like, am I going to do this? And then so I had all these ideas, right? And I think I'll talk about this in another episode, maybe next week, where, um, you know, I had all these intentions, like I wanted to do Walnut Fest again. I had, we had the one year podcast birthday, oh no, not the one year, we had the um, 100 episodes um, for Walnut Wednesday. So there were all these um, little milestones that were kind of close together where I was like, that would be perfect timing to um, to have the book. But many things I, I had to let go as well. And so, yeah, I think I will talk about this next week because that's a whole process in itself where you have this, you, my mind was so set on particular dates and things like that. And so I've really had to lean really far back into trust so we'll talk about leaning into trust next week um but then i just decided do you know what let's just make this investment let's just invest in coaching with rachel um for a couple of months just to um you know have that accountability to like help shove a big firework up my butt and get get a move on and help me structure this um, rather than just say, I'm going to, I feel like writing a book and actually like, I am writing a book, bitch. <laughs> um, and then also because I'm a plonker at um, lots of techno things, just to have that hand holding for, you know, logging into a thing and clicking all the buttons and making sure everything is the correct font and uh, PDF size encoding things that you have to do um and both Rachel and Viola have author um you know publishing programs that I believe you can still purchase um that what can help you through the these kind of processes they um take you through right from the writing phase all the way through to the the technicals of the of the publishing stuff but um I'm a person who likes human things and I like to have someone to be like hey are you there can you just tell me this really fast you know so that's what I wanted and um it has been a godsend Rachel has been the fucking bomb helping me with so much stuff holding my hand through a lot of things as well and putting up with my fucking bullshit. Like having a coach has been so fun. And I, yeah, I think we'll talk about this a whole other time, but just having that extra support of someone who's literally there for just you, right? It's not just like having a little chit chat with, with your friend over a glass of sad. This was like full on like, okay, this is what you need to do. I can do that for you. I'll do that, you know? And fully like eyes on layers and it, it was weird at first having not I wanted to say all this attention it wasn't necessarily all this attention but um ha having just someone there 
you know put boundaries in place and all the things of course but like where I could just go I'm in a fucked off mood and then she'd be like why and then be like I don't want to I don't want to write today and she's like okay <laughs> so like have, just having someone who isn't going to be sick and tired of hearing about your bullshit because they're your coach they're your person for that for that allocated amount of time so um Rachel White amazing beautiful delicious sexy human I love her so much and she's helped me so much um through this journey and making this even bloody possible um yeah I, I think that's all I kind of wanted to share Walmart is just the main the main tips of how I actually did this was um keep going keep doing the things even if they're small um and like within a blink of an eye, you'll be on the ass end of this going, oh my God, I can't believe that I did this. <laughs> I'm still sitting here like smacking my butt. I just pressed the, you know, the order button on the, on the bulk copies to get my, my books sent to me. Um, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to be holding my books and like what the actual hell. Um, so yeah, awesome 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 and fun time and I learned a lot and I'm going to talk about the trust with you another time because I don't want to um make this episode too long but main thing was keep going and then a big huge help but I don't think necessary but for me it um I really wanted to to do that one for the investment in myself but two um to have that extra support so two different things with hiring someone to help you out there but like i said there are programs there are you can google it you can youtube it there are all the other um avenues that you can go down to actually help you with the technical stuff um but for me a big part of writing my book was having having a human by my side dedicated to literally me and and help me out with all the all that kind of stuff so <laughs> That's my picture, Walnut. Um, Walnut Wednesday, the book, um, has been launched and is going. Heaps of walnuts have already purchased it. Um, and it's on pre-sale at the moment. So I'll put the link in the show notes where you can buy it um, if you want to. Um, we have, I think, over 20. I think we're at 23 walnuts that have purchased. If you put pre-set, if you purchase the book on pre-sale, um, you'll go into the draw to a little prize because I want to say thank you and do a little giveaway. I love, I fucking love doing giveaways. So um, I just wanted to say thank you um, to all the people that have purchased a little just extra thing. Um, so all the people that purchase go in the draw. And if you share when you purchase is extra entry as well. So lots of exciting things and all the information is in the in the show notes you can click on that or just give me a shout but I'm totally excitable to talk about the the book more and if you have any questions so I realize this is a bit of an airy fairy walnutting kind of episode but my walnutting this week is basically I wrote a fucking book <laughs> I'm an author <laughs> Right, weird to say like I did a thing it's going to be here it's going to be a physical thing for me to have to hold and like I mentioned earlier I'm just on the arse end of it just only just in the completion phase so I'm still totally basking in the celebration and basking in the um no you know messages I've had from walnuts to say congratulations I'm basking in all the little likes and basking in the purchases um every time my paypal goes bing bong I like ship myself because I'm so excited um so much <laughs> I just am in awe of not only the recognition that Walnut Wednesday the book is getting but the um the support that I'm getting as well because it's basically my book is basically just a piece of it's kind of like this podcast it's not like any book I've ever kind of picked up before it's not like how to warm up for dummies or how to do this or this is so inspiring or make you change your life it's literally like hey Welcome to another expression of Walnut Wednesday uh, in book form. <laughs> it's basically like this, how we're talking now, but in a book and in sections like like the podcast is. So um, it's just another, 
it's just another umbrella piece of Walnut Wednesday, another, yeah, another creation, another expression, another way where you can come along on my journey with me, seeing stuff through my lens and how I think and feel and things like that. So, yeah, I think that's all I really want to share this week, Walnut. The basking, the offering, if you have questions, please reach out and let me know because I do want to talk about this more. Um, and all the information is in the show notes or just message me. Just message me, Laz, the author. <laughs> it just like trips me out every time. Okay, I am going to sign off because I can hear the, the, the noisy men folk are back. Um, I hope this hasn't picked up on the mind, but have a happy Walnut Wednesday, Walnut, and I would love to hear from you if you've purchased the book. Share this episode, let me know, and then you'll go into another, you know, and might be another entry if you've already purchased it. No, you, you, you know what I mean. Just share. Tag me, share, message me. Um, where else can you contact? You can contact me on all the things. Join my group, The Walnut Tree, with all the, pretty much all the extra teas in there. But um, I want to hear from you. I want to hear if you have any questions or anything like that. So let's talk. Let's talk some more. Happy, happy Walnut Wednesday. And I will talk to you next week a little bit about trusting the process. Thanks for your time, Walnut. I love you so much. You're beautiful. You are sexy and you are delicious. And I'll talk to you then. Bye.